السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹو ٹی وی اور لرننگ پیج نمبر 23 اف فائدا اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بن اینڈ دس از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی کانسیپٹ اف تنوین فتح سو تنوین فتح از ایکچولی this is bun but this can also be written as bun why this is possible because this one fatha is ba for fatha and the other fatha is noon sakin this is actually noon sakin that's why we can write it in this form too so whenever you see this patatain so make sure you should be very much clear about the concept that one patha is ba and the second patha is with noon sakin ben so whenever you are pronouncing this hidden noon sakin Make sure you give sifa of the wasat too, because whenever noon sakin is being pronounced, uh, it should be with the wasat, and the wasat is a medium flow of sound. Ben, so the sound should flow in a medium place, pace. Ben, ten, ten, gen. Han, make sure the heavy letters should be heavy. Every um, letter, uh, the makhraj of every letter should be uh, properly engaged. Then, then, run, zen, sen, shen, sun, run. The last part of n sound is tawasut, which you are creating because of the pronunciation of noon sakin, which is hidden in this tanwin. Pach tanwin. Gwan, 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 an, gwan, fen, gwan, gwan. Nan, man, nan, wan, han, an, yan. A, b, dan, a, b, dan. A is a very sharp sound. Um. The pronunciation of Hamza is sharp, it's short, it's pinchy, it, it, it gives you a uncomfortable uh, feeling when you hear it because it's a very sharp sound. Ah. For Fatha, open your jaws, but for, for Hamza, you give a very sharp sound. Ah, ba, then, ah, ba. Then both both these are short. But then you are giving the wasut. Abad. Then how will you stop? For fatha, then mean you just uh you simply remove one fatha and the other fatha will give it a two count long vowel. Abad. Then and what uh what is the name of this mud? Mud. I will. You are exchanging the sound of tanween into mud. So this is why it is called mud. I will abadan, abada, ra, ra with fatha is always heavy. Uh, whenever ra is with fatha or dhamma, it is heavy and the heavy ra sounds like ra. Ra, ra is heavy too. So we will write capital H. And for fatha, open your jaws. The sound is very short. Ra ra dan ra 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 dan. We'll give the mean 
because you are pronouncing the hidden noon sakin uh, in this fathatain. Uh, so make sure you give the uh, was such then how will you stop with fathatain? The mechanism is um you simply remove one fatha, the other fatha will give you a two counts long vowel. And this is this whole procedure is called mud. I will you are saying how will you say da. This is mud. I will when you say da, this this da is mud. I will ra is a heavy letter. For fatha open your jaw, the sound is short. Ba. Ba ba is light and short. On of is heavy, so we will write capital H, and um, uh, you are um, pronouncing with the wasut because you are pronouncing the mean, and there is a hidden noon sakin in it. How will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha, and the other fatha will give you two counts long vowel, and this is called mud awad when you pronounce ko. J, J is short and light. N is short and light. J, N, F, N. When you are pronouncing F, you are giving hums. The hums is a flow of breath. And then you are pronouncing the mean. Uh, for uh, To pronounce the mean, you will give sipa of the wasut. J, N, F, N. Because you are pronouncing that hidden noon sakin uh, which is there in pathatain how will you stop you will simply remove one patha uh, and it will be two counts long vowel and that is called mat i will janafa because you're exchanging the sound of the mean into mud letter that is why this is called mud i will and i will means to exchange so um, in Urdu we say um, uh, I I bought this uh, in I was I was I was uh, I I got this um, cycle uh, yeah so I will is when you are exchanging one thing to another I got this money uh, in, in exchange of uh, the the. Uh, jewelry so you are exchanging something so jana fan uh, and when you will say jana fa it will be two counts long mud uh, which is called mud i will ma ma is short li is short ma li can can is two counts um uh, uh, it is pronounced with the wasud because you are pronouncing the heading hidden noon sakin in it Mali can how will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and that will be two counts long now. And this is called mud. I will mali ka na na is short, kho is heavy, and for kastra uh, give e sound na khi khi ro why ro is heavy because whenever ro is with fatha or dhamma, it is always heavy. Na khi ro then. Mm, you are pronouncing it with the tawassut because you are pronouncing tanin. Ten. How will you stop? Whenever you see this circle ta at the end where you are giving buff, then you will change this circle ta into ha. And um, the ha with sukun will get sifa of rakhawa. And rakhawa is a flow of sound. So the sound shouldn't stop. Na this sound is rakawa. Ma is short. Tha is short. Ma tha. How you pronounce that? When you touch the uh, tip of your tongue under the two frontal, uh, the edge of frontal two teeth. So this is the makroj of tha. Ma tha. Len. Uh, you are pronouncing the mean, so you are giving sifa of the wasut. Ma tha. Len. How will you stop? Mm, for fatha tanin, you just have to remove one fatha and the other fatha will be two counts long. And uh, here you are exchanging the sound of tanin 
into two counts long vowel. That's why it is called mathala. I am from your throat. And for kastra, give E sound. I, na, na is short. Ben, uh, you're pronouncing the mean, so you're giving sifa of the wasut. Aina ben, how will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and the other fatha will serve you um, two counts long vowel and, and this is called mat. And what you are exchanging the sound of the mean into two counts long mud. So that is why it is called mat. And what aina ba. Qa is heavy. For fatha, open your jaws. The sound is short. Qa, sa, sa is heavy too. And for fatha, open your jaws. The sound is short. Swan. For uh, sa, you are giving heavy sound. For fatha, then you mean you are giving sifa of the wasud. Qa, sa, swan. How will you stop? You, uh, for fatha, then mean you just remove one fatha. And that will be changed into mud. I will, uh, and that will be two counts long. Le is short. Oi from your throat. For kastra, give e sound. Le i ben. Um, you are giving about the wasut. Le i ben. How will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha, and uh, you exchanged uh, sound of the mean into two counts long vowel. That is why this uh, mud is called mud. You are exchanging one sound to another to make it long. La that is short. Uh, you're pronouncing it when you uh, touch the uh, tip of your tongue to the uh, edge of the frontal two teeth. So the sound is short. The, ma, meme is short. Nan, you will give the wasut at the end because you are pronouncing tanween. Thamanan, how will you stop? Um, for fatha tanween, you just have to remove one fatha and that will be mad arit and uh, why it, it is called so because you are exchanging the sound of the mean into uh, mad letter so mad i will thamana ha from your throat the sound is short profata open your jaw uh, jaws um ha sa sa is short na ha sa na ten or uh, then you are pronouncing the mean, so you are giving sifa of the wasut. How will you stop? Um, whenever you find circle ta at the end, you will change it into ha. Uh, it, uh, so and how will with sakun because it will get sakun because you are giving buff. So when it is with sakun, how? will be in which sakun will get sifa of rakhawa and rakhawa is the flow of sound uh, the sound shouldn't stop hasana hasana a hamza is a very sharp pinchy pointy sound and for fatha open your jaws a c c a c is short for kasra give e sound a c fan for uh, you are pronouncing the mean, so you are giving sifa of the wasut. A C fen, A C fen. How will you stop? Uh, for fatha and mean, how you stop? You just remove one fatha, and that will become mad uh, mad and uh, you are exchanging the sound of the mean into two counts long vowel. That's why it is called mad awal. A C fen. O of is heavy for fatha open your jaws and to make any letter heavy be careful you shouldn't shouldn't uh, circle your lips um, uh, you are just uh, lifting your uh, root of your tongue towards your palate to make any letter heavy O da that is light run o da run how will you stop you will simply remove one fatha uh, and uh, that will be now it is two counts long vowel and this is called math i will order le la is short ba is short le ba nan you're giving the wasud because you're pronouncing tanween 
Lebanon. How will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and that will be converted to mud. I will. Labana. Ka. Ka is light and uh, fatha is short for, uh, for uh, fatha. Open your jaws. Ka. The. Make sure you uh, engage a right makhraj uh, uh, for that. The. Ben. Ka. The. Ben. How will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and that will be converted into two counts long vowel and that is mad awal. Kadiba, kadiba, she, and she is short. Ko, she, ko, ko is heavy. She, ko, kon, she, ko, kon. You will give the wasut. How will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and that will be converted into mad. I will shako ko ba ba is light, off is heavy, so you will write capital H ba o ro ro is heavy too. Then uh, you are pronouncing the mean, to, so give sifa of the wasud ba ko ro ten. How will you stop? Whenever you find a circle ta uh, where you are um, applying waf, you will change this circle ta into ha. And ha with sukun will get sifa of rakawa, so the sound shouldn't stop. Bakara. This ha sound is a flow of sound, a flow of sound. Bakara. Ku. For dhamma, circle your lips. For any dhamma, for any dhamma, you are circling your lips very well. The sound is short. Ku, fu. For fa, um, fa, you will give hams. Hams is a flow of breath. Ku, fu. This sound. This sound should be there whenever you pronounce fa. Ku, fu. One, you are giving tawasut at the end because you are pronouncing the mean. Kufu one, how will you stop? You will simply remove one patha and that will be changed into mad. Kufu wa lu for dhamma, circle your lips. Ba ba is short. Lu ba then give the wasut and how will you stop? You will change it into mad. I will lu ba da and that will be two counts long. Su for dhamma, circle your lips. Ru make raw heavy because whenever raw is with dhamma or fatha, it is always heavy. Su uru, but the sound is short. Su uru, one, uh, you will get the wasud because you are pronouncing that hidden noon in the uh, tanween. Su uru, one, how will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and uh, that will be uh, mud. I will. You are exchanging the sound of tanmin into two counts long mud. That's why it is called mud. I want suru ro hu hu for dhamma circle your lips. Zu for, uh, for dhamma circle your lips. Hu zu one. If the was so because you are pronouncing tanmin. Hu zu one. How will you stop? You will simply remove one fatha and that will be two counts long uh, mud now. Huzu wa ru ra is heavy. Whenever ra is with dhamma or fatha, it is heavy. Heavy uh, ra sounds like uru uru. Su su is short and light for dhamma. Circle your lips. Su ru su len. Give the wasut. How will you stop? You will uh, make it two counts long, uh, and that is called mad. I will ru su la. I ain't from your throat for fatha open your jaws. Lam is short and open your jaws. I la off is heavy. For a heavy letter, we write capital H. I la off. Then uh, you'll give the wasut because you are pronouncing the mean. How will you stop? Okay, first I la then and how will you stop? You will change this circle ta into ha, and ha with uh, sakun will get sifa of rakawa. The sound should flow. 
Subhanakallahumma rabbana bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astawfiwka wa atubu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.